This video will go through linking your McGraw-Hill Connect Labs to a Blackboard course. First step that you need to do is go to your connectmheducation.com. That will take you into your login. So enter your login credentials, hit sign in, and that'll take you to your home page. So that's step one. Step two is you wanna to go to a previous course that you want to make a duplicate section of. So you're gonna have several options. You wanna do duplicate sections. So we come over here and let's create, let's duplicate one of these fall sections. So again, you're gonna go down, step two then, duplicate section. And then you'll be given this screen. And from here, you can, uh, you're gonna to wanna to rename the new section. So um, whatever your, your court. So what I've been doing is putting the semester in. So we'll do spring 2022, and then whatever section that you're doing. So I already did a, a sample for XXX, so we'll do YYY this time. And then you wanna select what school, Kenosha or Elkhorn should be the, the options that you have. Um, and then continue to new section. And then you'll get this screen here. You can, it, it can basically you can disregard it, I would say. It does give you uh, the link uh, to your new section. You don't need to worry about that for now. So what you'll wanna do is go to continue to new section. All right, so let's go back to our slideshow and see where we are. So that's step two. Step three, we just did name new section and select school. Step four, continue to new section. So we did that. Again, you, you have the, the web address for the section. You don't need it. Uh, right now, you have access to that at any time uh, in the course. So just continue to the new section. And this is what you're going to see. So you're going to want to, as I say, state in this slide presentation, you're going to want to fix the due dates first, uh, because they're going to have last semester's due dates. So um, what I do, you can do them individually on here, but that's, that's, don't do that. You do, you can do them. If you want to set individual due dates, I'll show you how to do that right now. Click them all for now, just like this, uh, and then click manage dates. Okay. And then you'll be given this screen. So let's go back to our slideshow. Again, you want to select to manage all dates. Okay. And then you'll click the pull down. Let me get my mug out of there. And you click the pull down. And one of the options you have is manage dates. Okay, so then you'll be taken to this screen. And you can either manage uh, in bulk. So if you want to have all of your due dates the last day of the semester, um, you can do it that way. I do it that way myself just because uh, I want to make sure that I, I, I'm not 100% confident in McGraw Hills, uh, you know, closing the dates or closing the assignment. So I just always bulk due datum as the last day of the semester. So, but you don't have to do, do it however you want. Um, if you want to do it individually, though, you want to click individually. So, so anyhow, let's go back over here. So if you want to do it in bulk, it'll just make them all the same. Start date has to be after today. So start date as tomorrow. Um, due date, the 25th of April, for instance, for this semester. Again, and then hit submit. If you want to do them individually, again, you just click individually and then same option. You just put in the, the due dates. Now it doesn't organ, it, it puts 10, 11 for me, 10, 11 to 12 first, and then one, two. So anyway, um, so be aware of that, but start 
regarding when they open, when they do, and all of that. So, uh, so anyway, pretty straightforward uh, with uh, setting your due dates. Okay, so the McGraw Hill portion is pretty much done at this point. I'm going to go back to in bulk. Before I do that, let's just set it for tomorrow. And then we'll go to April 25th and then hit save. And then as you can see, all of the dates then, start date and dates are now current. Okay. So there's your course. Now it's not connected to Blackboard yet. So that's the next step. Okay, so we want to pair it with our Blackboard course. So I'm just going to go into a rant, one of my old Blackboard uh, advanced. I've already paired everything with my new courses. Um, so I'm going to just go to 2020 fall, just an old course. We'll do that advanced section. Okay. So what you'll do, so let's say this is your new section. This is your 20 spring 2022 section. Um, if you copied your previous section already into this section um, and you clicked that you wanted it to course copy the labs and the assignments, then you're going to have those previous assignments potentially in your new shell. So you would have to go through and delete all of those. So, um, so anyway, when you do a course copy, you want to uh, uh, make sure that once you have your, your current spring 2022, for instance, course, that all of those previous McGraw-Hill labs that you potentially uh, copied over from your course copy in Blackboard, because they will go if you had if you had McGraw-Hill Connect labs in your previous uh, uh, course, and you course copy that course into a current or an upcoming course, it will. There's a good possibility I run into that it brings those with. So, um, which is fine. You can. It's it, very quick. You can delete those out. What I did um, <clears throat> is just deleted the entire uh, tab that had all of my labs uh, in it. It just gave it a clean slate. And I'll, so I'll show you then. So now let's say this is my new course uh, for 2022 spring. It's been copied over. And now I'm ready. I've deleted all signs of any past McGraw-Hill labs that may have carried into it from last semester because you couldn't access them anyway, and it's a different course section. So you want to um, put your new stuff, everything we just did over here with McGraw-Hill Connect. We can now go into our new section and upload those very, very easily. And it puts them right in your grade book and everything. If you've got everything set already in the McGraw Hill section, then you just put them in and it'll it'll connect right with it. Connect, right? Anyway, step six. So we're going to pair it with the Blackboard course. So you want to go to your course tools and your new course, and there's a tab for McGraw Hill Education. So that's one. This is um, probably the 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 simplest way, maybe the most straightforward way. There, there may be other ways to do it, but I find that that doing it this way uh, is is generally pretty much foolproof. So I click on this McGraw Hill Higher Education tab and then and it takes me to a page that looks like this. So again we go back into uh, our pair with Blackboard course. So we click that and then what we're going to see is this. So we want to pair that course uh, with our connect section. So there it is. We click that and, and notice that is not associated with any connect section. So that's good um, to click pair with a connect section. And then we get this uh, page here and we want to click with an existing connect course because we, we just created a new yet existing course. So click select an existing connect course and it'll give you uh, your options there. And so you open that up and it has everything that's already paired. So then notice why, 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 why the one we just did uh, has not been paired yet. So that's a good indicator too, that this is the correct course that we're looking for. So you wanna just click that uh, and then hit save. 
and that's it. Well, it's not it. That's you're done almost. So uh, you want to return to Blackboard. So let, let's go back, uh, return to our Blackboard course. And there it is. And notice it now has paired connect section. So, but again, we're not quite done yet. We need to come over here. This is what, again, this is the screenshot of what we just did. Section, an existing course, advanced A&P or what I called mine, uh, and then find the one that, that, uh, that goes with that course number and then click save. All right, at this point, we need to now make sure that our Blackboard course has uh, an accessible spot for our students to be able to do these labs. So what you need to do is create a tab in Blackboard for your McGraw-Hill assignments. So we go back over here and, it, and so you wanna create a content area. So just come over to this plus uh, here uh, in Blackboard and hit content area. That's what we wanna create. And again, I just named mine McGraw-Hill Labs. So you want to click that and we do want to make it available to the users, even though it's empty at the moment, we're going to fill it up in just a second. So as with everything, when you create a new content area in Blackboard, it puts it at the bottom. So you'll want to bring that up uh, to, you know, wherever you put it. So I'm just bring, going to bring it all the way up uh, here and uh, didn't, uh, let me refill sometimes. Sometimes when you create a new uh, content area or something, you know, it, 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 Blackboard gets weird. So you got to refresh and see now it's still not letting me move it. So uh, there we go. So anyway, uh, you'll want to move that up. So this is what it'll look like when you open it. All of you, I'm sure, have created a content area in Blackboard. So what do you do now? From here, we can go to assessments. And notice McGraw-Hill assignments uh, comes right in. So McGraw-Hill and Blackboard are linked. Just click McGraw-Hill assignment. Okay, and then it'll pull up all those assignments that we just linked to our Blackboard shell. We want to click add all items, and then we want to hit submit. And then it'll ask us a series of questions um, regarding uh, just basically the, the pro is this the destination folder we want it in um, the McGraw Hill labs yes uh, do we want it available are we keeping highest grades all that good stuff so just click submit 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 you've already uh, done all of the parameters in McGraw Hill when you created these labs so Boom, so here you are. They, these labs are now in, uh, in, in Blackboard. They're now, they're gonna be under again, you know, that McGraw-Hill uh, labs tab. So click that tab and, and there you go. And now again, you're gonna wanna bring that, that uh, up. There it goes, now it's moving. Maybe because it didn't have anything in it. I don't know, again, Blackboard sometimes gets funny when you're trying to move stuff around. So there you go. So now the McGraw-Hill Labs tab is in there. It's up at the top. Uh, and so if the student comes in and they click that, they are going to be directed to doing the lab activity. Although ours looks different because we're the, the instructor, but, um, but they'll, they'll be instructed to perform uh, the lab. Act. They'll take them right to the specific lab. If they have not set up a McGraw-Hill account yet and they, they click this or they open this up, it'll just take them out to instruct them how to open an account and set up an account and pay for it and all of that. I do put a link um, over here. I create a, uh, a web link as well in my Blackboard. So, so I do web link and then I do McGraw-Hill uh, connect. <clears throat> Oops, my caps lock is on. So McGraw-Hill Connect. And then um, for the URL, that's where we go back. That original one that, that uh, we had at the beginning, we've got that URL right here. So then we can just copy that, bring it over here, paste it in there, click available to users, and hit submit. And the same deal, you know, and, and you probably want this to open in a new window whenever you create links in Blackboard. 
uh, hyperlinks in your tab, you want to make sure at the end that that you set link to open in a new window. We want to our students and ourselves. We generally want to stay in our home window. So click set the link to open in a new window. And again, you can put that. This is basically just a hyperlink to the class. Is it is it necessary? I don't know, maybe, um, but uh, it's there. I put it in there. So if they click that, they're taken uh, out oops, to, a, to a new window. I don't know why it took me to Blackboard to learn. I think I must, there we go. I think I must have copied uh, the wrong link. So let's, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Submit. It's probably because I'm the instructor that it's doing that. But anyway, your students will have um, you can also put kind of a how to access, but I, the students I haven't had the they haven't had any trouble registering and getting into this. So as long as you have the labs in there and they click click on the lab to do it if they've registered for the class then 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 you're good to go i put that link in the syllabus as well uh to register for the course um i put it in an announcement so that way they know how to how to get in there okay so that was it for the for that the powerpoint you're finished in that respect so hopefully that that uh, was helpful um let me know if you if you need any further assistance.